Seattle is barely done cleaning up from their last storm system that brought nearly three inches of snow earlier in the week. That puts you about an inch above average for the month of February and about halfway or so to your yearly average, your seasonal average of about 6.8 inches. Now, Seattle doesn't see a ton of snow because a lot of the storm tracks come in from the west and they bring in a much milder Pacific air mass. You see heavy wet snow, which doesn't build up as quick as a drier snow. And as we start to look at the pattern into the weekend, that's what we could see a much colder air mass already in place and a trough of low pressure already digging over the western US. Then keep your eye on this low as it breaks apart from the flow and starts to kind of cut itself off. It's going to reinforce that cold air and this is a totally different type of air mass coming in than what you normally see. It's a much colder and polar Arctic air mass that's a lot drier, which means a lot of light and fluffy snow that can accumulate very quickly and cause other problems. Typically get a lot of blowing snow or drifting snow here. Usually we get a very uh, you know, kind of a wet snow, but uh, we are expecting cold temperatures. Uh, the Arctic air is actually going to be draining from the north down into Seattle. And as that happens, it tends to accelerate and it tends to pick up some of that light and fluffy snow, blow it around and create some reduced visibility. So certainly north of Seattle, um, quite a bit of blowing snow is expected. And even in Seattle itself, we may see some areas of blowing snow as we go through late Friday and into early Saturday. And because that light fluffy snow can really rack up pretty quickly, parts of the Seattle metro area could see upwards of 6 to 12 inches of accumulation. And the top five snowstorms include some right around a foot. So we're going to be watching that forecast very, very closely with all of the intricate microclimates in and around Seattle over the next couple of days.